Hi everybody, it's Dr. Salce. Today we have Rachel here. She's one of our patients here at our office and we're going to be talking to Rachel about what chiropractic's been doing for her and what we're going to be doing to help her. I am a doctoral student and I've been really stressed as a result and so my back naturally like holds all that stress mm -hmm. um, and it's just been adding to it. Okay. And so we've been working together with you and we've noticed that there's times where you're doing really well but when things get more stressful it seems like you need to get in the office a little more and we're at that point right now. Yeah. So today what I'd like to do with you is review some of the exercises and stretches that we've done in the past, give you a great adjustment and see if we can get you to the next level. All right, we're going to start off by looking at your leg length here. When I got in a car accident like when I was 18, it was just like rear-ended. I started noticing my back pain when I started my doctoral program in the first year and so it just started, um, felt a little more tense. And as I move up your spine, I start to feel that tension right through here and then it kind of goes up to about here. Is that about where you're feeling it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then also what I'm feeling is that there's quite a bit of tightness in this area as well. So on Rachel, she's got tight paraspinal muscles. Those are the muscles that run up down her spine and what we're going to do is we're going to work on releasing that tension so that will give her a lot of relief but it also help me with what the adjustment and so when i do trigger point therapy i hold for about three to five seconds on that spot we'll go to her tolerance as much pressure as she can handle and we'll release and then we'll move to another spot and go up and down her spine so you notice one thing is that i want to protect my own spine by staying in this position here and um, what I'm using and to protect my hands too, I'll just use my elbow if she can handle it, and Rachel can handle it, but we're gonna actually use that to work on her right now. I'm in class for about 10 hours, and it's like an hour commute, mm -hmm. and it was like always like my back or like my tailbone, um, or sometimes like my knees or hips. So there's a number of reasons why these muscles tighten. Uh, one reason is because of our posture. That's pro the primary reason that we see uh, that the muscles will tense because of posture. Uh, but also, we find that they'll tighten up if there's misalignment and subluxation in the spine. And we also find that if there's a lot of stress and tension, this is an area that we get a lot of tightness in. Like during ice skating, like I was always falling because that's just part of it. So I was always on the ice. Right there, let that fall. Okay, now come on over on the other side. There it is, right there. Let this go. A little bit lower here. Take another deep breath in. Breathe out. Here we go. All right. Very nice. Now, let's take a look at your neck. Uh, I was doing, like, working out. Like, I do Pilates. Uh -huh, sure. And that kind of helped. Just totally but right. it just wasn't enough. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let that it go. It just was a little much. So I came in. Okay, so what she's doing is she's going back and forth on this and it's releasing the paraspinal muscles and taking the tension off of her spine. How does that feel? Really good. Okay, good. And this is a great way when you have a lot of tension in your back to release it by going back and forth like this with a foam roller. So here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to start with your chin tucked and then really put your back into a C shape and then reach out just like that. And that'll get a deeper stretch right through these muscles here. And you wanna hold that for a good 30 to 60 seconds. And I would be doing that on a daily basis. Turn towards me, right? But you wanna take this hand here and just kinda, of, yeah, there you okay. go. Right? That's a great one for to release just, I know that's lower back more, but we gotta get that lower as well as the upper. And what I want you to do is a sissy push up. Keep your hips here and go ahead and lift up and bring your head back as far as you can. Straighten out your arms and put your head back. There you go, just like that. All right, and you wanna hold that one for about 30 to 60 seconds, and that's gonna release a lot of that tension as well. Now the benefit of the Arthur Stim is, as we work with Rachel on this, I can already feel the muscles starting to relax, but it also helps to release the tension around the spine, so when we do the adjustments, it goes nice and smooth with this. Okay, so with some patients, this is all we need to use on them if they're too acute. If you do those exercises that Rachel's been doing, I think it's going to really help you guys get better. And Rachel, I think that's really going to help you yeah. in your healing as well.